Do you know Nakata Nido, the famous mochi shop in Nara, where I live? I got the chance to watch very closely their mochi pounding, and it was so amazing. And I find out the mochi pounding show is not for the entertainment, but for the incredibly soft texture and melt in your mouth mochi. I try making this delicious mochi we create at home, so are you ready to do some exercise with me? So let's get started. Let's start preparing yomogi. At this time of the year, Japanese mogwort, yomogi, grows on roadside all over Japan. It's still young and very soft. This is the best time to make yomogi mochi. This is in front of my house and I'm gonna pick up the tips of the leaves. Actually, this is my first time to use the wild yomogi, but let's give it a try. And let's go back into the house. You can find the dry version of yomogi online, so please find the link in the description box below. Wash thoroughly and please remove the, any other weed and dust. Bring a pan of water to a boil. Add baking soda to remove scum and make it soft. Cook for 5 minutes on medium heat until soft. Taste it to make sure the yomogi is soft enough. Drain and release in icy cold water to stop cooking and reserve the vibrant green color. Squeeze out all the moisture and then chop into a paste. It's fibrous, so chopping it on a cutting board is the best way to do it. Cut the fiber like this and then you can cut it into the small pieces by hitting it with the knife. Chop it for about a minute or until it looks like this. Set aside until the mochi dough is ready. Before making mochi dough, roll the red bean paste into a bowl and set aside. If you are using a canned red bean paste, it is too loose and contains too much moisture, so cook it in a microwave to evaporate the moisture. It's a bit challenging to make mochi from the sticky rice because we don't have a special equipment like kine and usu. So we use a mixture of rice flour and mochiko and adding a little bit of sugar will help keep it soft until the next day. Combine the dry ingredients and mix with lukewarm water and mix into a dough. Cover with plastic and cook in the microwave for a minute and then mix it into an uh, even dough. And cook it again in the microwave for a minute. Mix once again and cook it once more. And your mochi dough is done. In a suribachi bowl, put prepared yomogi, grind yomogi with a pestle until smooth for a minute. And prepare the mochi dough. 
And here comes the fun part. Pound with a pestle, like Nakatani-san does, until you get the smooth mochi dough. I use a spatula as if he's flipping the mochi dough. The Japanese motor has the fine lines that allow it to break the fibers. Dip your pestle and spatula in water occasionally to avoid sticking, and keep pounding until you get a nice stretchy mochi. The more you pound the mochi, and the more stretchy and velvety mochi. And it looks good. Divide into 7 pieces and shape into a bowl. This is a bit tricky part, but do not worry too much. Flatten the mochi, and the edges should be the thinner than the center. Then put the red bean paste in the center, and wrap it around. Take your time to wrap the red bean paste. Dust with the kinako powder, and there you have it. Homemade yomogi mochi is done. Look at that stretchy mochi. This is seriously the best mochi I have ever made by myself. And it literally melts in your mouth with the comfortable earthy flavor of your mogi. If you have a chance to visit Nara, please visit Nakatani Dose to taste the legendary mochi. But in the meantime, enjoy pounding mochi at home. I hope you will give this recipe a try. Thank you for watching the video. Give me a big thumbs up and share the video with your friends or families. And consider subscribing if you don't want to miss any of my new videos. And follow me on the social media and tag me on your post if you give it a try. And join my happy eating group to share your food with me. And my store on Amazon has pretty much everything that I'm using in my video. And for more information, visit my website princessbamboo.com. Thanks again and I will see you soon. Bye!